Sharika Jackson, the superwoman. This is freaking insane. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops to drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at it and we break down the races. So, ready? Yep. Good to go. Sharika Jackson enters the World Athletics Championships 2023 uh, or Budapest 2023 as the favorite to win both the women's 100 meters and the 200 meters. Last year's 2022 World 200 meter champion could walk away as the double champion this year in Budapest. But outside of this amazing fact, there are a few other indicators regarding Sharika Jackson that sometimes we don't talk about enough. You see, what Sharika Jackson has achieved over the last three years is, is just freaking insane, to be very honest with you. Sharika Jackson is number one for the 2023 season of the 100 meters with this young lady, Shakari Richardson, in at number two. Marie Josie Talou of Cote d'Ivoire is in at number three with this young lady, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, in at number four. Number five is Julian Alfred of St. Lucia. And in at number six is Dina Asher Smith. Now, this 10.65 was set by Sharika Jackson at the Jamaican National Championships 2023 about two to three weeks ago. This, of course, is was in the finals of the women's 100 meters at the National Stadium. Off it goes. Very, very good start by Sharika Jackson. Natasha Morris is on the premises. Tom Sahira is knocking on the door as well. Step forward, Sharika Jackson, imperiously. This 10.65 is her new personal best and world lead. But one has to remember that last year at the Monica Diamond League, she came second to Shelly and Fraser Price, who was pretty much unbeatable last year, beaten only by Sharika Jackson, running her then personal best of 10.71. Commonwealth final when she goes in five. Sharika Jackson, the 200 world champion, in three. Great start from Fraser Price, who's already up there, centre of these seven, moving away at the moment. Expect Jackson third from right to come through late, but Fraser Price is moving away. Great running from Tallo as well. The winning time, 10.61. It matters not. It's quicker than anybody else in the world. At the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, which happened in 2021, in the finals of women 100 meters, she came third, winning a bronze medal and running a time of 10.77, equaling her personal best, meaning Sharika Jackson. And of course, it was in the semi-finals of the Jamaica National Championships in 2021, where Jackson stormed uh, in her, I guess, officially her second 100-meter race as a new sprinter. That's three years ago, people, running a time of 10.77, shocking everyone in that semi-final. Now, the race you are about to see is actually the finals, where she ran, I think, 10.82. I couldn't find the 10.77 the race. Set position there, sent away a good start for Ashanti Moore. Brianna Williams gets up well. Shelly and Fraser Price now steps forward. The world champion has the better of the Olympic champion who's battling and then comes through. Well, Sharika Jackson, 1072. It's not as quick as many persons wanted it to be. Now, this of course is my two cents. What we often never ever talk about is the fact that Sharika Jackson of the top five female sprinters in the world for the 2023 season is the youngest in terms of sprinting. Both Julian Alfred and Shakira Richardson have been sprinting longer than she has. She officially became a sprinter in 2021. Uh, Shakari from college and before, Julian Alfred the same, uh, Marie Josie Talou, obviously, Sharika, Shelly and Fraser Price, and Dina Asher Smith have all been sprinting for numerous years prior to this young lady. All of them. I mean, even, even including Shakari and Julian Alfred, who are substantially younger than Sharika Jackson. Jackson literally became a, three, a sprinter three years ago. And in her first year, ran an incredible 10.77. And this year, ran 10.65. That progression is unbelievable. It's pretty much freaking insane. 
um, basically she's improving her PB at a rate that it seems almost impossible. Now, what am I saying? I'm not saying that she was not an athlete prior to, but she was a 400 meter athlete. She became a 100 and 200 meter specialist and a sprinter um, just three years ago. And the fact of the matter is she's still learning how to run the 100 meters. She has actually admitted that openly. It's one of the reasons why sometimes there's a some amount of inconsistency, inconsistency because they're still trying to find the correct formula for her sprint. But if you are able to move from 10.77 or 10.78 in 2021 to 10.71 in 2022 to 10.65 in 2023, that course of progression is absolutely freaking remarkable and must be noted. In other words, at this progression, if she continues at this rate sometime next year, we can see her running a sub 10.60. This is if she continues to progress. And the fact is she's what, 28? So she's still extremely young and there is this possibility. So I know that very often we don't even think about that because yes, Shakari, Julian, um, Marie, Josie, uh, Shelly Ann, um, Dina Asha have all been sprinting for many, 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 many more years than Sharika Jackson. Sharika Jackson really just started sprinting three years ago, people. And moving from that 10.77 to 10.65 over three years, those massive jumps, 10.77, 10.71, 10.65, those are huge numbers to be putting up. So dare I say, when Sharika Jackson perfects her 100 meter, which is clearly what they've been working at, she could possibly run a sub 10.60. She could possibly tackle that 34 year old flow your world record that that you know dare i say we can only dream of someone removing the obvious person being of course elaine thompson hera but is this accomplishment within itself remarkable yes secondarily what is freaking insane about this is that this young lady who has just been sprinting for three years can possibly win this year the double the double in the women's 100 meters and 200 meters at world championships 2023 what are the mathematical odds of an athlete who has just been sprinting for three years being able to do this which other time in history do you know of any athlete who has been sprinting professionally for three years who have accomplished these goals these massive leaps and bounds in lowering their personal best and is already uh, a contender for uh, the double the gold the, the gold and gold in 100 and 200 meters at the world championships I, I can think of no one else. Of course, you all are much more literate regarding track and field than I am. So if you know of anyone, please tell me. But certainly, if there are others, she is one of a handful of talents. This is insane. Three years ago, this young lady ran her second 200 meter, 100, sorry, 100 meter officially and ran 10.77. And three years later, she's running 10.65 and is a contender to win both 100 and 200 meters. If that's not insane, what else is but this of course is my two cents now don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit no show the like but remember your royals kings and queens bless up